1894, the three companies merged into Union Stonework Company. It was actually a marketing company for the three companies. They were in business under that name until 1906. And here you can see the marking, Union. We're looking at the white glaze, zinc glaze, Bristol glaze. This was a huge improvement for Red Wing. About 1895, Red Wing switched from the salt glaze to the whiteware. The whiteware had four major advantages. The first advantage is you could use a rubber stamp instead of hand decorating. Second one was it was white inside instead of the brown inside, so people could see if the item was clean. The third one was you could put advertising on the front of it. One of the major benefits of it was because every time they shoveled the salt into the kiln, the salt would vaporize and get on the crocks and the jugs, but it would also get on the bricks. So the bricks would have to be relined quite often. With the whiteware, that didn't have to happen. The earlier Union period had birch leaves and elephant ears. These are elephant ears and these are birch leaves. These crocs were really important for people living on the farm. They needed them to store their meat and to make sauerkraut and pickles and items like that. A lot of times they would store carrots. If you took a crock, fill it up with sand and put carrots in it, put it in a cellar, it would keep your carrots all winter long. So these were really important. In 1908, Red Wing changed to the wing. The wing was a huge addition because it was the only company that had two different colors on their markings. The wing comes in three sizes. We have a six inch, a four inch, and a two inch wing. It was very difficult to get a glaze that would handle 2200 degrees. They actually have uranium in part of that glaze. Do not worry, it's not a problem. The biggest crock they made is a 60 gallon crock. And again, you can see how complete that line of Crocs are. The two biggest jugs made were the 70 gallon jugs. They were made for the 1923 Minnesota State Fair. They actually made three, and we're still looking for the third one. So if you do find one, let us know. Call us collect. This one was found in Nebraska. This one was found in Texas. They weigh about 250 pounds empty. They were never used. Two of them were put at the entrance and another one in front of the Red Wing display at the State Fair. We're now looking at several examples of what Red Wing made. The first cabinet over here is examples of Union stoneware. These are some of the Red Wing Union stoneware pieces as we're getting into the kitchenware with a pie plate and a Christmas tree stand. And then we're looking at miniatures. Red Wing did a huge collection of miniatures that they had advertising on that got sent out to stores to be given away.